And welcome back, 15 minutes before the hour. And Randy watching Free Speech TV in Alton, Missouri. Hey, Randy, what's on your mind? Hi, Tom. It's been a while since I called. But um, I'm going to just make my statement, and then I'm going to hang up so I can listen to your comment. Okay. Um, I'm a lifelong gun enthusiast, gun collector, mm -hmm. and I've always been for reasonable gun control laws, such mm -hmm. as extending the background checks and closing the loopholes at gun shows and face-to-face -face sales. But I've always been a little bit leery of the, the assault weapons ban because I never thought it would do much good. And with all the assault-type rifles that are out there, I don't see how it can be enforced. We had it for 10 years, and there was, yeah. there was a... Here's Here's there was a decrease in the number Orlando, of those. Window, I've changed my mind. I believe we should outlaw AR-15s, AK-47s, and all the military-type weapons. I mean, the last caller talked about military weapons, and he mentioned a, a Springfield bolt-action rifle. Well, I guarantee you that if that guy had a... Springfield bolt action rifle, he wouldn't have been able to kill 49 people and wound 53 others. Exactly. This just has to stop. Yeah. And so that's that's what I had to say, and I'm going to hang up and listen to you. Thank yeah. You. Okay. Thank you, Randy. No, I'm 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 completely with you. I'm I you know it's 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 time for us to start rationally looking at this. Guns are not sacred. Guns are not you know the, 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 we're not talking about. You know the Torah that has to be carefully buried. We're not talking. You know, if, if for that matter, the Constitution isn't sacred. It's a it's a brilliant document, but it has been modified over and over and over again throughout our history. The meaning of it has been reinterpreted with virtually every new generation. And there's nothing sacred about guns. In fact, if anything, you know, I think you could build a stronger case that they're the devil's instrument than the angels. And so if, you know, if we're going to have a society like, you know, most civilized societies around the world, if we're going to have a society where some people occasionally have weapons, let's make sure that those people know how to use those weapons. In other words, they're licensed and trained, that they have liability insurance. Once again, you got, you got 49 dead people in Orlando. This is just like Newtown. 49 dead people in, Atlanta, in Orlando, if they had been killed by some guy driving his car into a crowd to kill them. Geico would be paying out million dollar liability insurance policies right now. But because there was no requirement for liability insurance, the owner of a gun, those people aren't even gonna get 50 cents towards burying them, their, 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 their friends and, and brothers and sisters and mothers and fathers and, and daughters and sons. They're going to get nothing. What is so irrational about this? I don't even think you need to, uh, to repeal the Second Amendment, frankly, to pass a law that says that we're going to just treat guns like cars. But it's just, it's just time for some straightforward, rational thinking here, and we need to stop this, this deification of weapons. Weapons are tools. That's all they are. Beginning, you know, beginning to end, they, they, they can be tools, they can be toys. I mean, when my brother and I go shooting, they're essentially toys. You get people go hunting. That's it. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy-dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.